Hello everyone, welcome to another boring list video because well I need to get content out so hopefully my channels don't die. Um, okay, so today we're going to be looking at something that might actually kill me in the end. Inspired by caddies to actually do this, today we, as I'm only 16 years old and I haven't really experienced many video games, today we're going to be looking at my top 4 boring video games. Enjoy! Star Wars The Force Unleash 1. Now why do I specifically, specifically say on the Xbox 360? Well, this kind of applies to a PlayStation 3, but I haven't really played for it. Now, why am I actually saying this? Well, to be honest, the levels are too long, and in some sort of way, it just gets boring. It does. It, the characters and the design is fantastic, the boss battles are good, but if there was something that they could make it all different in the game, I don't know, made the level shorter to be honest, because I don't know, free roaming is not always good. Now, I like the second one quite a lot, it's a short storyline, and other people do think it should be big, the story should be bigger. But, yeah, again, with the release of Star Wars Battlefront 2 this year, hopefully you will actually get something that you have wanted for a long time. So, yeah, I don't really like Star Wars to Force Unleashed. Uh, one that much. I do like the beginning though, that you get to play as Vader. I think that, that's the only cool part. Instead of killing Jonas. What a mess up storyline. Number three. Now, if you know me, I these games. Uh, you should also know that we played Disney Infinity. 3.0. It's fun. Boring. Why? Well, let me tell you this. First, you have to. The first the game plays take so goddamn long, they are longer than Lego Dimensions they are. They are so long. It takes up to 40 minutes to probably, uh, sometimes even an hour to actually get this stuff done. Sometimes I just upload big long hour length parts and sometimes I don't. Now this is one of the reasons why I don't play this Infinity Why? Because it takes so goddamn long to do it. It's like every time I want to try and do it on my laptop, it knows it's this infinity. It's like, oh, I'm not going to upload it. And the levels in Star Wars. <sighs> They're good. It's a good storyline. But, jeez, after a while you just get a bit sick of it. And you try not to throw up. You try not to throw up in your mouth. Which is the least I could say. Now, I get it, this game's really for kids, but for God's sake, guys, I'm a teenager. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I will say this I, there, there is good things about it from you can create um, your own, well, I guess levels or worlds, whatever. But by doing that, you have to complete something. Now, I only have done the two play sets of uh, Star Wars um, from the Clone Wars and also from Star Wars episode whatever um, I have not played the Force Awakens one to be honest <sighs> Way doesn't have a lightsaber Finn doesn't have a lightsaber in that one so yeah I'm pretty goddamn disappointed about that, and I probably never will actually buy it. But does that mean I ever stop playing this? Well, occasionally I have to play it to make sure it's not dead. But also, the the one of the things I don't like the memory space on the PlayStation 4. It takes up too much. I've had to delete it so I can actually get Crash Bandicoot to work on the release date. Well, you already know about that. For sure some of you are going to be surprised for this one. Lego Dimensions. It's boring because, well, every single Lego game, they made the levels too goddamn long. There's too many collectibles, there's too much stuff to actually get. The levels are, 
they take so long that everything's like 40 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour. It's like, come on, make it shorter. I like, I love free roaming, I love playing as different characters, but the levels are the main problem and the main thing. Because even though if you don't complete that level, then you know you're going to have to go back there and... Oh, so please, Lego, for God's sake, make it shorter and Lego Worlds can go and suck it. Honourable mentions because I stopped doing that a long time ago now. Now, even more surprised. First, the Crash Bandicoot stuff and the Spyro stuff in Skylanders walk. But Skylanders Imaginators and also Giants, oh, you don't even know I play Giants, but jeez. You can get even more boring with these kid games. Now, look, I am going to say this, and I'm going to say this only once. These two guys are fantastic. I love them to bits, I do. And this is the only reason why I actually play these games. Because there's not that many games that you can play as Dr. Cortex. You can play as Cortex in all of the driving level, all the racing driving games of Crash Bandicoot. You can play Cortex in uh, Crash Trinsanity, Crash Bash, and that was one of the earliest games that you could actually play him as a physical form and shoot his gun. Of course his gun is not that good, and actually what the hell did they do to his gun? Where's all of his nice colours and... Like, I know that they fixed this in the actual game, that the gun looks exactly the same like before um, in Crash Transanity, my god. And you kind of get to control uh, Big Cortex in Minor Mutants. Well, to be honest, we don't really need to talk about that one, but my, my opinion may be different. Because I kind of, kind of like that game. Um, but apart from that, it's just boring. It's, it, the boss battles are sometimes repetitive. They're in a way that is bad. Sometimes they're just. And the levels are too long. There are collectibles, there are annoying characters in there. But the only reason why I like Skylanders is because of these two babies. And now I've heard that they're coming back in 2018 with a mobile game, which, god damn it. For God's sake, Skylanders, you might as well bring out another video game for your console because I already know that your mobile game is going to flip and suck. It will. Unless if you know how to. Unless if you bring, I don't know, these guys back into your games or other people back from like Spyro or stuff, then to be honest, your mobile game is going to suck. And the only good thing that you made was back in 2016 with with Crash and Dr. Cortex here. Yeah. <sighs> was that, I've got some stuff off my chest. Shut up, laptop. Anyway, today, thank you for watching uh, this video. I'm gonna be having some more list videos coming up and I may break the rules of not posting big videos. Why? Because my head is literally dying and I need to get creative. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you've, um, Also, I will be, um, at the moment, I'm going to try my best to release a um, Caddy's parody, but really it's basically a Crash Bandicoot and saying uh, with you that I'll be releasing to this channel and the first five minutes to add these games. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Um, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> I'm a bit of a Caddy's fan now. Alright, peace.